Hello everybody, welcome back and thank you for joining me for another video. All right, I am back from Chicago. I had a fabulous time. Um, I'll talk more about that in a little bit, but um, let's just get started. I wanted to show you guys the dried and resined results of the amazing painting that is going to be shipped off to Las Vegas for PORCON. So if you are attending PORCON in Las Vegas, August 6th through 9th, you are going to get an opportunity and a chance to win this in a raffle along with 21 other pieces of art from all the other artists. So if you are attending, you have a chance to win this beauty. So this is going to get, look at that, look at that shimmer right there. You, this you this is going to get shipped off to Vegas very very soon and I will be heading to Vegas oh gosh what is it six weeks from now I cannot wait if you want more information and you want to come to PORCON and learn how to resin your pieces from me on a Shelly art uh, original bloom because that's what I'll be teaching you guys on Shelly has made a bunch of little eight inch blooms on wood panels and that is what you guys are going to be resining in my class so not only are you going to learn how to resin and top coat you are going to do it on one of Shelly's pieces and you get to take that home with you so for information go to www.poorcon.com and check out all the information on the website, all right? So that is happening August 6th through 9th. I am doing another workshop in July here in my home studio uh, in London, Ontario. That's coming up. Um, if you want information on that, you can email me at canellasiraco at gmail.com. It'll be a Saturday somewhere in the middle of July. I haven't picked the exact date yet, but if you want to be on my mailing list so that when I do have these workshops, you get an email and you'll know, you'll be notified when my next uh, classes are going to be held. So again, canalasiraco at gmail.com. All right, today I'm working on a commission for a client, so I am going to get myself set up. I'm going to bring you guys down and let's get started. All right, everybody, let's get started. Now you're wondering here what's going on. So first off, what I have here is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. Now in the little last couple of weeks, I've had a lot of people asking me, what do I put on the bottom of my canvas um, to keep it up off the table? And a lot of people thought, you know, I use just these regular jumbo push pins, but I don't. I actually use these. These are called furniture levelers. You will find them listed in my Amazon shop. They've been there forever. So in the description below the video are links to US and Canadian Amazon and UK. And you will find these listed in my acrylic pouring supplies list of things. So they are furniture levelers. And so essentially you're supposed to use them for furniture. You get four in a pack with a bunch of screws. You don't need the screws. What happens is you just turn the bottom and then you can easily level out a piece of furniture. In this case, I'm leveling out my canvases. Now, in Canada, these are about 20 bucks for a four pack. You can find cheaper ones, but you get what you pay for if you get the really, really cheap ones. However, these ones in the US, I just got them. I got two sets. Um, so I got, I had my, uh, my brother who lives in Chicago I had him order them off Amazon for me. And when I met up with him in Chicago, he brought them for me. But these guys were like $6.99 for a four pack. What is going on? How come everything in the US is cheaper? Like, I mean, $6.99 for a four pack in the US on Amazon and on Canadian Amazon, it's like 20 bucks. It's a bunch of BS, I'm telling you. So I had my brother buy me two sets. Um, I still have three, no, I have, no, I still have three sets from, you know, what I've been using. So what I do, I will show you guys, is I literally just put it here on the corner. I don't put it right to the very, very edge, okay? I never, ever do that. Leave some space, okay? Now, I take the back of my canvas. A lot of people ask me what kind of tape I use. Dollar store tape, okay? I do not buy 3M, Duck Brand, expensive tape from like the store it this is just dollar store green painters tape okay that's it so anywho i put my 
uh, furniture leveler here and I basically just put in a push pin in one corner up here and then one corner down here. That's it, okay? That's all you need. So keep it away from the edge, okay? So I'm gonna just put these ones in real quick. Okay, so they are all in, okay? All right, now I can get rid of this plastic. And now you just wanna make sure it's level. So it's not moving on me, which is great, but let's make sure, first of all, that I'm centered. Okay, perfect. You get your little level, and wow, I happen to be perfectly level that way. Not so much this way, so it needs to come up this way in order for it to be level. So what you do is you just twist the bottom a bit like this, okay? Just a smidge more. And I am perfectly level, making sure none of my corners are moving. So I'm level this way and I'm level that way. And that's it. Like, I mean, these are the greatest things I've ever bought um, because you could just easily level your piece. No sticking popsicle sticks under there, on your push pins, no funny looking stands, none of that. These things are great. All You can just easily maneuver the bottom and now you're perfectly level. And it actually brings the canvas up, I don't know, about two inches up off the table, which is great if you're trying to scrape your drips or, you know, if you're a shorter person, the canvas is closer to you, whatever, whatnot, okay? So again, you can find those in my Amazon shop. All right, today's colors. It is going to be a color split. Uh, my client wanted to purchase this for his wife. It is um, similar to video, I think it's 538. I can't remember, but I'll link it up here at the top for those of you who wanna look at it. I did change one or two colors. So I'm gonna start obviously with my base paints. It's gonna be a black and white color split. Titanium white by Amsterdam and Oxide Black by Amsterdam, okay? And then the colors I'm using. And if you want to know the ratios and how I mix my paints with water and Floetrol, for those of you who are new watching, check out video number 434. I will link it up here at the top. Click on that video. It'll be a full tutorial on how I mix my paints for the perfect consistency for my blowouts. All right, colors I'm using today are Reflex Rose by Amsterdam. Then I have Pearl Tulip Pink by Arteza. Um, Primary Magenta by Triart. I did not have Triart at the time, and now I do, so I'm adding my new Triart paint into this. So I'm super excited to add Triart. Of course, 24 Karat Gold by Deco Art. Then we have Primary Magenta by Winsor & Newton. And then Pearl Rose by Arteza. And then topping it off, I have Persian Rose by Amsterdam. Okay, so those are my colors. I'm going to be using the Flower Hair Dryer. Okay, and um, a lot of people have been asking me, oh, where do you get the paints and the bottles? A lot of people think that the bottles come with the paint in it um it's amazing it's mostly on facebook everyone thinks that um but no those of you you guys know i fill these bottles up these are lowly veffy bottles if you are interested in getting these awesome squeeze bottles you can check the website lowlyveffy.com again in the description below and you can save 10 percent off using code canela 10. all right I am going to flood my canvas and I will be right back. back canvas is flooded bubbles have been popped with the torch i've got my colors here and i actually kind of rearranged them um i decided to put the reflex rose close to the top i decided i wanted to rearrange the order so 
Persian Rose, Amsterdam, Pearl Rose, Arteza, uh, Primary Magenta Triart, 24K, uh, Deco Art, Pearl Tulip Pink, Arteza, Reflex Rose, Amsterdam, Primary Magenta, Windsor Newton. So that is the order I'm going to do it in now. I decided to change it up when I was sitting there looking at it. I really wanted the Reflex Rose to be near the top. So my pink is spewing. Gotta love when that happens. Okay. Let's just get going. So again, I'm going to follow my line here of black and white right on top of it, okay? So now that I'm getting this started, I'll tell you about my Chicago trip. Guys, I had so much fun. Um, the weather was amazing. Um, so warm, so hot, sunny, sunny days, not a cloud in sight. Um, we did uh, an architectural boat tour. It was amazing. Our tour guide gentleman was hilarious. If I remember, I'll try and post some pictures at the end of this video of some of my Chicago trip. But um, we did an architect architectural boat tour, which was super cool. Um, great hour and a half-ish on that boat, looking at all the amazing buildings in downtown Chicago. Um, we spent one of the days literally just walking all around Chicago. We went and saw what they call the Bean uh, in Wrigley Square, I think it was. Uh, we walked all the way to the Willis Tower or Sears Tower as most of us know it as. Um, Navy Pier, like I mean, we had a blast. It was amazing. And of course, I had to head to the local Home Depot and pick up Floetrol. I bought 10 gallons of Floetrol <laughs> while in the US because it's so much cheaper. In the US, it's like $19.99 for a gallon at Home Depot and here in Canada, it's like 45 to 50 bucks. So even with the exchange rate, it was still worth every penny going to Home Depot and loading up on, uh, on US Floetrol. And uh, I'm so glad I got 10 gallons of it. Um, but yeah, Chicago was amazing. Um, I had a blast. Again, I'll try and put pictures up at the end of this video. Um, and I got to see my brother. I was so excited to see my brother. It's been a while. So we got to go out and see my brother and have dinner with him, which was really, really nice. All right, uh, I'm gonna stop talking. Let's start blowing this out. I'm gonna start here in the middle and work my way over. Can I tell you, I'm so glad I changed the color order and put the reflex rose near the top because it is just so vibrant and just like, I'm so glad I just did that last minute. I love it. This is great. I have to fix my edges a little bit here, but look at the cell reaction. I think I've got a lot of paint here in the center. Maybe, maybe not but it is what it is, but I'm loving this. Wait till you see this petal down here. Oh, I'm so excited. I love it. And you know what? As I'm looking at it, I don't think there's anything I need to fidget with, to be honest with you. Oh, the reflex rose. Boy, am I glad I put that 
near the top and didn't leave it near the bottom. This is perfect. I'm going to fix my edges and I'm going to bring you guys in for a close up. Be right back. All right, everybody. So before I get to the close up, don't forget to take your stick and scrape the drips. Okay, do all four sides, come back 10 minutes later, do it a second time and then a third time and you should be good to go. All right, I am so incredibly pleased with this. The colors are just so in your face and so vibrant. And I'm loving that 24K shimmer, but look at all the cells and the little caterpillar cells and everything that's going on in this piece. There's just so much going on in this and I'm loving it. All right, so let's check it out with the flash on. Alrighty, flash is on. Now I know there's gonna be a lot of shimmer in here because we've got a few Artezas in here and of course the 24K, but look at that. This is stunning. I can't wait until this dries and it gets a top coat of crystal resin because the resin just makes the colors pop so much more after the piece is dried. Let's check out the top here. Look at that 24K. I love this cluster up here. I'm so happy with this piece. I love it. Love it. And there you have it, everybody. Um, I'd love to know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Sean, I hope you're watching and I hope you love this piece and I hope your wife loves it. Um, but yeah, let me guys know what you think. If anyone is interested in a piece like this, I can always do a commission for you as well. You can just email me at canalaseraco at gmail.com. Don't forget, check out the information for PorCon in the description below. Discounts for... Loli Vefi products, resin, Arteza, all kinds of stuff in the description below. Um, and also just a quick reminder, these are the paintings that I have left that are available for purchase, hanging on my wall. Don't mind the reflection, the lighting isn't the greatest either, but you kind of get an idea. Um, the majority of these are 50% off. So if you are interested in any of these paintings, you can email me and get a price on them. All right, so that is it, everybody. If you are new watching, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. And until next time, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye.